So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Friday. It's a new tax function every single Friday. Now, in today's Tax Fridays, we're going to talk about summary summarize columns. And uh, I, I created a video a few weeks ago talking about add columns and how to use add columns together with summarize. It is the best practice. And you guys told me, okay, so how about summarize columns? Can one replace the other? Well, let's talk about summarized columns. Um, I'm going to do two videos, part one today, part two next Friday, because this video is just about summarized columns. Next Friday, we'll talk about ignore, roll up, group, and all that kind of other functions that you can use only together with summarized columns. Okay, the same as we use with summarized. So, part one, summarize columns. Here we have the documentation. Returns a summary table of a set of groups. I would have loved that it was called a summarized table. It is summarized in a table. I understand that VertiPack is a columnar database that stores columns. So obviously for the Power BI team, probably makes more sense to say summarize columns. But for the point of view of a user, I think it would have been more intuitive to say summarized table. But we deal with what we have, right? Okay, so it summarizes a table. That's what it does. And uh, if the column returns a blank for the measure that you want to create, then it won't show. So it doesn't show blanks. For what I understand, it doesn't show summarize either. So there is a way though, but next Friday, not this Friday. So, um, I'm not going to go into detail with all this stuff because it's just words that I find difficult to understand. So let's do an example. Just make things much, much easier. Okay, so here we are, the Northwind data set, free to download, and you'll get this video at curva.com, resource, uh, sources, download center, DAX Fridays. You'll get in, so go to curva.com, you'll find it there. And, um, we're going to get started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so summarized columns. Let's start first doing a summarize. Summarized, summarized columns return a table. So if you want to see how that function works, you need to click on new table instead of new column or measure. You can use summarized columns on a measure, but I'll show you that at the end, okay? Now to just understand the inner workings, it's easier to just see the results. So summarize, let's do a very quick recap. So summarized, would you put first is the table. This is one of the differences between the summarized and summarized columns. We're going to put all the details. And then you put the columns that you want to summarize. In this case, we want to have a table with the total sales per year and per um, category. Now you can say, I can do this in DAX with a visual. Yes, but if you want to create a table in the middle that you can use for other calculations, this is a very useful way to do it. Otherwise you are bound to a visual to do that calculation. Okay, so we're going to get calendar date. Yes, you can actually, if there is a relationship between tables, you can actually access columns from other tables. I hope you don't hear that because you're doing construction in front of my window. Hopefully not. Okay, calendar table, category name. And now as an expression, so we're going to get, give me years, give me all the categories and give me the sum of sales. So we're going to get sum of sales, the name of the new column, and then is going to be the measure that, you know, we have on the model that calculates sales. Push enter. And here we have the table. Oh, I put date. No, I want year. Otherwise you won't see anything. So calendar year. So now we have the sum of sales per year per category. So you have 1996, 1997, 1998 categories and sales. Wonderful. Now, this is not a best practice. The guys at SQLBI has made some measurements and discovered that this is not a very efficient way to do this. The best practice way before summarize columns was, as I showed you on the video, it was add columns and then you use summarize just to summarize the table, nothing more. So you put it like this and then sum of sales 
and it will give you the exact same result, it's just that the measure is more efficient, so it performs better. The engine behind Power BI can do this calculation easier, okay? So, wonderful. Now, how about summarize columns? Well, summarize columns work like this. We change this, we put summarize columns, and then you start with which columns you want to group. That is one of the differences, right? You don't need to specify a table to summarize columns. The engine knows what table it needs to feed to be able to do the calculation you want, which is wonderful. And then uh, summarize columns, we need to remove the parentheses there and then just put, you put the columns that you want to group by, you have an option of a table, I'll show you in a second, and then you have the expression. So it's quite similar, and it will give you the exact same results as with summarize, and as with summarize together with other columns, okay? So there you have it. Use this one, it is more efficient. They've made measurements again, and apparently this is much, much faster than the other two. So how about you use it instead? So there is on the documentation you saw, it, there is a possibility here to add a table. And it is actually quite wonderful because it allows you to do some filtering to the summarize table you want to create. So let me show you. If I put here filter calendar, wow, calendar, and then I put calendar year, where are you, my dear? Calendar year equal to 1996, equal to 1996, watch. It filtered the table to the year 1996 and it gave us the sum of sales per category, which is wonderful, isn't it? Can you add more filters? Yes, you can. Let me show you. So if I put filter categories and then I put uh, category name equal to beverages, beverage, then you will see the year sum of sales category name beverages. So how wonderful is that, right? It just makes complex table creation easy. So summarize columns is quite a nice table function to know, actually. Um, what else should I say? Yes, let's wrap this up into a measure so you see how that works. So this is when you want to, you, you can actually create me, middle tables here, see if you need them to add them to the model for whatever reason. That's totally allowed. Now, we are going to calculate, if we go back here and we remove the filters, you see, you see. And now we have again the summarized columns, where are you, my dear? There, and now we wanna have count I'm sorry, I have my imagination today, but we want to count the number of categories where the sum of sales is over $80,000 or whatever this is. This is an American database, so probably it's dollars. So how many categories have sales over $87,000 for the years in there? So to do that, we go in here and we create a measure, a measure. So we go here, new measure, and we say sales over 87,000 equal to, and we have, we're going to count the rows, and then we're going to filter the table, and the table is the table that we created in there, well, previously. So you know what this table returns, right? You've seen it. Now, so we have here the table. We want to filter where the sum of sales is over 87,000. And then when you have that table, we want you to count the rows. 
and we put it in there as a card and you give us a blank. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh dear. I put too many. 80, uh, no, I put 170,000, there's no. So 87,000, we have five categories where sales were over 87,000. And we did that using summarized columns. So we fed a table to our measure to be able to calculate that. How wonderful is this? Okay, so this is all for today. But next Friday, we're going to continue with summarized columns. I was going to call it summarize table. We summarize columns and we're going to go through the um, additional functions that work inside summarize columns only. Some of them work also inside summarize, but the syntax is different for some reason. So we'll do it next Friday. Until then, enjoy your weekend, take care, and I will see you on Monday again. Bye bye.